is going on good looking this is garrick brown art studios and i'm garrick brown and guess what i'm back with another video let's go today we're doing another big swipe two footer this time we're using a black pillow i'm coming with some tips i'm trying to help you achieve your swipe goals if you're new to fluid art or if you're new to my channel just stick around for a little bit check me out um, I love the paint pouring family like it's really a family so if you decide to get into this art just know you're gonna gain family from around the world so as we get started I have a secret and if you've been following me you know that my secret is a tip of the day so today's tip is this container right here. This is where I store my pillow paint. This container is from the dollar store. You know that's my spot. The reason why this is today's tip is I keep about 10 of these on hand at all time. What I do is I mix my pillow paint up from time to time. I pour it into, into these containers. When I get to the end of, end of the container, I leave the cap off and after a couple of days or a day, day or two, the paint on the inside has dried. I peel it out like so. A little bit of residue, but not much that you can't work with. And I pour back in the next time when I go filling up uh, my, when, whenever I go mixing my pillow. These containers make, it, uh, make your pillow manageable so you're not having to lug out that big old gallon of paint every, you know, every time you pour. And I just love it. It's easily accessible at the Dollar Tree. I've seen them at all the Dollar Trees that I've been at. And trust me, I have been to probably about 20 dollar store locations in the last month. But that's, that's my business. <laughs> We're doing another big swipe. I want to bring you in. I don't want to lose anyone because, you know, people be people will leave your videos quick when they get bored. And, Okay, so this is my pillow. This is Color Place Grab to Go. Um, it is very thick. I want to show you how thick the pillow is, and this is after I have thinned it down. So, as you can see, my popsicle stick will stand on its own. This has about three ounces of water mixed in with it in this container, and this is a quart container. But as you can see, it is very thick. And while the pillow is thick, it still produces a mound on a mound. As you can see, the mound disappears after a few seconds. Um, this pillow could actually be, be thinner, but I'm gonna leave it like it is. All right, so as we get started, this is a uh, one foot by two foot canvas. But a lot of you have been asking me to go black, so we are going black today. So what I'm getting ready to do is I have some black paint and water mix, a much thinner ratio, and I'm going to add that to around the edges of my canvas to give that extra flow because I am concerned that this paint is really thick. And when we get to the end of our tilting to the edges, we're going to need that extra fluid uh, motion to get our paint off the canvas. Super fluid. Um, there's not an exact measurement or ratio, but it's probably about four parts water to one part paint, if I had to give you a good estimate. So we're going to use similar colors to the pour um, that I showed you at the beginning of this video.
and we're going to be adding an interference just like we did in the previous pour. Adding a little bit more to the top, just to make sure my swipe tool has plenty of paint to pull. Today we're going to be using our swipe tool and we're going to use this white CA for this one. We're going to put a generous amount on our swipe tool. And remember, um, when swiping on a big canvas, you know, you make the decision on how much paint you want to put down. I personally like uh, negative space and I don't like my entire canvas to be full most of the time. So if I wanted these super vibrant colors, I would have um, spread this painting till about right here. But I want somewhat of a watercolor effect. I call it like my little signature um, on my pieces for larger ones, but it's completely up to you. So you can see how much is really on here. All right, so here we go. We are getting some really pretty reactions. What I will do is on the final swipe, I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you can get a close up view. Let me bring you guys in close so you can see what's going on here. Okay, guys, look, these cells are whew, just gorgeous. The teal is really mixing in with the orange and the gold is doing its thing. And I'm, I'm really amazed. Um, this black pillow is really showcasing these colors well. And I really don't want to tilt this, but we have to. So just want to kind of show you what's going on and like I was telling you, I like, this doesn't look like much right now, but once I get to tilting, um, you'll see why I like, or why I call this my signature touch. But you can't beat this, guys. Uh, whew. All right, here we go. So I am gonna go in at an angle and I flatten out just a bit and I swipe. And we watch the cells grow like so. I wouldn't be completely honest with y'all if I didn't tell you that I am very nervous about this. My pillow is so thick that I'm afraid that I'm not gonna be able to tilt the way I need to. But this is a learning experience and we gotta help each other. So this painting could potentially get ruined, but let's see what happens here.
I know that it's hard to tell what I'm doing here, but I'm tilting downwards. I need to move some of the sails down. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to process this as I go. <laughs> I don't have a lot of fluidity with this pour right now, so I'm gonna stretch the sails down and then see how much I can move this. I'm gonna have to do some touch up on this end right here because that black line, I'm not gonna be able to move my paints back to get rid of that black at the edge without ruining the cells. And these cells are just, oh, just beautiful. One thing that I like and don't like, I love this movement um, but I, I don't like it as well. It kind of disrupts the motion of the piece, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna mess it up. And I think it'll grow on me as we go. All right, guys, this is our close-up. And the cells are really beautiful. They didn't get too wonky. Um, and by wonky, I mean uh, the cells kind of get the destroyed look. And a lot of times that happens when the paint consistency isn't quite right or you do too much stretching. And these cells were just too gorgeous to lose, so I didn't want to do that. I do run the risk of this cracking. So this video is for you and for me. So if it cracks, I have a memory by it. Um, Cause there is quite a bit of paint left on the canvas. It's not too, too bad, but it's more than I'm used to um, keeping on there. But I'm gonna take that risk today. And really quick, look at my swipe tool, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can see a little bit of that interference um, popping through. So I can't wait to see how this piece looks dried. Well, the time has come for us to say goodbye once again. You know, I appreciate you spending some time with me. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my content. And as always, remember, do everything with love. Treat each other with love. Um, disagree with love. If we add a little bit more love into our heart, the world will be a much better place. So until next time, I will see you later. Peace.